Welcome to the 3 minute guide to Bethlehem Heroic. This is either the first or the second encounter of the raid depending on how your guild approaches it. It consists of two phases, one control phase where you split your raid and one burn phase that requires big DPS and raid wide cooldowns. Your first task is to assign people to go upstairs in the first phase. On 10 man, you want to send up 3 to 4 people and 6 to 8 people on 25 man. Regardless of your raid size, you should have one tank, one healer and the rest DPS go upstairs. The more people you send up, the shorter the last phase becomes. Begin the fight by having your Feral Druid put up Fairy Fire on the boss. Bethlehem will crawl upstairs and begin channeling Venom Rain. This is a raid-wide AoE damaging spell that happens whenever no one is upstairs and will happen 3 times throughout the fight assuming everything goes right. Stack up as a group to make this easier to heal. Thinner web spiders will spawn from the ceiling and begin to cast Burning Acid, doing damage to random raid members. Taunting these will force them to come down to the ground, which will stop the cast. But more importantly, it will make the spinners leave a web behind them for people who are assigned to go upstairs to ride to the top. Everyone with the taunt ability should help out in this process, including Holy Paladins, Play TPSers, and DKs with Death Grip. Upstairs team will use his webs as soon as possible. Have the tank go up first, healer second, with the rest of the DPS to follow. Upstairs, you don't have to deal with many mechanics, simply tank the boss, heal through the Ember Flare, which is a pulsing AoE ability that happens every 7 seconds, and move from the Meteors that comes down every 18 seconds on a random target. The Meteor location will leave a hole in the ground, and moving through it will make you fall down. Every one and a half minutes or so, she will cast Smoldering Devastation, which will kill you if you stay upstairs. Jump down through the middle, get back up after the cast with the web, and rinse and repeat. Downstairs, you have to deal with the mechanic of four different kinds of adds. First is Cinderweb Spinners, which we already mentioned, Cinderweb Drones, Cinderweb Spiderlings, and Engorge Broodlings. Drones are the big adds that need to be killed before the energy reaches zero. It's not the end of the world if they don't die before zero, but once their energy reaches zero, they will go upstairs and drain the energy of the boss, making small devastation happen quicker. The adds have frontal cone, so face it away. It will fix it on a random target, and this target needs to move out of the raid to not roast the raid with a frontal cone. This fixate can be removed with feigned death and blessing protection. Spiderlings are small ants which spawns from 3 set points. On Taman, ants will spawn from 1 point at a time, but on 25 man, ants will spawn from all 3 at once. Assign 1 hunter per spawn point and have them deal with the ants. Always keep a trap or an earth by totem at the spawn point. They will move towards a drone and if they reach it, they will be consumed, buffing the drone and healing it for 20%. Engorged broodlings spawn from the same point as the spiderlings and need to be soaked. Simply assign a person on each spawn point to run into them in order to drop the puddle they leave upon exploding far away from the raid. After the boss has cast 3 smoldering devastation, the boss will come down and phase 2 will start. Ideally, the boss will be at around 80% HP or lower at this point. During this phase, she'll gain a ramping buff called Frenzy, increasing her damage done by 5% every 5 seconds. The only mechanics are Amber Flare, which is the same pulsing AoE damage from phase 1, along with Widow's Kiss, which she will place on the tank. This debuff will reduce the healing received by the tank and do a pulsing AoE damage but in a 10 yard range. It stacks apart and tanks swap right as the debuff gets applied. At this point, it's just a race against time. Coordinate raid cooldowns for Amber Flare once she gets higher stacks, use tank cooldowns, and lust towards the execute phase to help with the DPS and healing. And that's how we kill Bethlag on Heroic. Subscribe for more 3 minute guides.